What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Retro Aviation. Hope you guys have a fantastic day today and today I have a very exciting video for you guys. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Gemini Jets 1 to 400 scale JetBlue Airways Airbus H2300 with the Hofstel. I really hope you guys are excited for today's video as this has been a model that I've been looking very forward to for about three years now or so and I know it came out a couple months ago but just now getting a chance to review it in the chronological flow that we go off of the massive unboxings. So I'm very excited for today's video. I hope you guys are as well and without any further delay, let's go ahead and get into it. So here's the box here. Nothing crazy for a Gemini Jets box. Of course, you have the CGI Gemini Jets made for collectors by collectors. Nothing out of the usual here for Gemini Jets, but it certainly looks nice and professional as per usual with them. So that's what we love to see. Uh, this was a 2023 release. I'm forgetting the month this came out in. I think it was around May or so, but nevertheless, looking very good. Might have been April. Uh, here's the pamphlet. As you can see, we have all the aircraft criteria going into detail about how uh, this was the CS100. Now, of course, the A220 and all the various details there. So really cool. And that's looking absolutely fantastic. Alrighty, guys, as we bring the model in, here it is. Now, again, this has been a model that I've been very excited for for various reasons. So, uh, of course, the A220 is a very popular aircraft for JetBlue. They already have several of them. So, this has been the one big JetBlue plane that I've really wanted that they haven't made until now. So, really glad to have it. This model is very good. Uh, of course, the mold, uh, pretty solid for the most part. A couple of deficiencies, but for the most part, it is a very solid offering here from Gemini Jets. And I'm very excited to take a look at this. So, without any further delay, let's go ahead and zoom in. Pitch the camera down a little bit, skew this up, even it out. And uh, we have a little bit of blockage there, so let me turn the angle a little bit. Perfect, and let's go ahead and get started, everybody. Alrighty, so we'll go ahead and start off here with the cockpit windows. Then, of course, you have the nose cone. Then you have the titles here. It, I believe it says Donning of a uh, Blue Era, which is really cool. Uh, really great detail here in front of that as well with the pitot tubes, the panels. This is really impressive for 1 to 400, so this is really nice. Uh, here's the nose landing gear. This is the main con with the model, in my opinion, the mold, I should say, is that the uh, nose landing gear is a little too high. Uh, they made it metal when they switched over from the plastic landing gears, and as a result, it ended up being a little bit too high, at least on these first couples. So, uh, it's certainly a neglectable issue compared to others though, and they've done a pretty good job for the most part, excluding that. So not too bad, just an observation. Nose landing gear door also has some applicable detail in it. Then you got the L1 boarding door, and then you got the fly file logo and all the details on the door from the handle to the window. So good job there by Gemini Jets for representing all those. Then of course you got uh, this, uh, uh, this um, Scion Blue, I think that's how you say it, C-Y-A-N, that's what I'm thinking of. Uh, I changed the printer ink, so that's the only reason that that color immediately came to mind, but that's really the shade of it, or you can call it a lighter blue. Uh, you can see that right there. Anyways, uh, here's the first class area, and then of course you got the Jet Blue billboard titles. Nothing too crazy there, just your standard Jet Blue, so that looks really nice. And then of course, uh, you're going to have your Economy Plus and Economy going into uh, this area. So uh, here's our engine right here. It's got JetBlue.com in it, and look at the uh, exhaust there, very interesting. And then take a look at the fan blades here as well. Pretty solid effort, especially for one the 400, so I'm certainly pleased with it, so that's looking good. Here's the wings right here. As you can see, they did a really good job with detailing those from the flaps, slats, and speed brakes. And of course, you got the overwing emergency exit too, and the slide that goes down with it as well. You can see the main landing gear back there also look really good, so that certainly is very nice. So we love to see the effort on that, so that is absolutely fantastic. And then we get into our main cabin uh, predominant section here, which is really nice. You also have this antenna right here. Then you have the second antenna back here, the Wi-Fi SATCOM, whichever uh, proper name it is there for this box. And then of course you have the last antenna before we round it out with the United States flag, the registration November 3044 Juliet, Airbus E2-2300. We have a little panel right there, which is really cool. Uh, looks like a dent, but it's not, so that's really nice. And then of course we got the L2 door with the various uh, window and uh, lever detail and all the applicable items. That's fantastic. Here's the the hops tail, it looks super nice. One of my favorite tails for JetBlue. You can also see up there on the winglet where it's represented. So that's very cool. So it uh, looks really nice. I love the various shades of blue. So you have the lighter shade of blue, and then you got that mid-tone blue before you get into the navy. So ultimately, I think they really contrast well here. And the JetBlue billboard titles are also nice and even. No uh, crooked uh, billboard titles to be found on the tail. So that's really nice on this model. Some of the uh, additional offerings that we've seen from Panda and some other companies. I think even NG struggled with getting them level. So Good to see Gemini Jets nailing that on this particular release. You, of course, have the horizontal stabilizers as well in the APU detail and everything else that I may have missed. So looking very good right there. On the right side of the aircraft, of course, you got the baggage door, which looks really nice on this aircraft. So you got number one and then you got number two as well. 
let's go ahead and zoom out the frame here and take a look at the top of the aircraft, which does look really nice in this case. Of course, you got those three antennas, as I mentioned, uh, the beacon and the uh, top, the wing detail is really phenomenal in this model, so that looks really nice. And you also got, I think that's a cockpit escape hatch, although I could be wrong, and then some little other details here that I'll zoom in and show you real quick because they are certainly noteworthy right there on the front. Uh, really good detail there, kind of hard to see on the camera, but certainly very nice indeed. On the bottom of the aircraft, you also got the additional applicable detail, including the smaller Gemini Jets logo. And then again, the main landing gear are also now metal, which is nice. You got the stand hold, the beacon, uh, all the applicable details, and of course the under hatch, which looks really nice on this particular airframe. So ultimately a very good job here from Gemini Jets, excluding that uh, nose landing gear. This is literally pretty much a perfect model. I would say I'm very happy with it personally. I'm really glad to see uh, them finally do it first and foremost, but also the effort they put into uh, perfecting it from the tail to all the additional applicable details. It's really nice to see. And again, this is a really nice aircraft. So uh, yeah, very glad to have this one. Really glad to see them finally releasing some more JetBlue aircraft and hopefully they'll continue to do some more. I'd love to see them make a round of specials again. So who knows, maybe we'll get there at some point. So that would certainly be fun. But we'll have to see uh, where they go from here. I think that they certainly have a very bright future. The recent release that they did for September was very good. So excited to get uh, some of those as new arrivals here in the future, along with the additional releases they've had. I don't even think I've got a chance to get the July ones ordered yet. I've been so busy lately. So um, just uh, what can you say? So I'm um, certainly very excited for it, though. It's going to be awesome. And again, yet another really nice aircraft here from Gemini Jets, and it certainly is gonna look very good at all the model airports. I'll be eager to see how this uh, replaces the 220 and uh, you know, obviously how long it takes and the routes that they put it on first before they eventually get to the point where this is the, uh, the uh, backbone of the fleet, which will be very exciting. So uh, certainly a really sharp looking plane. So of course the major players in the 220 in the United States being JetBlue, Breeze, and Delta. So I think Delta leads the way, but JetBlue certainly and Breeze are making some very good progress. They'll be back months of those particular fleets. Uh, hopefully Breeze doesn't go out of business between now and then we'll have to see, but uh, yeah, uh, their financial numbers are certainly not the hottest, but JetBlue on the other hand, doing pretty well, I believe. And uh, yeah, it'll certainly be interesting to see if they do end up merging with Spirit. I'm not sure what the status of that is, especially at the time of the upload, but as the time of the filming, uh, really no major news on that. So uh, we'll just have to see what happens with that. So we'll be keeping our eyes out for it, but nevertheless, looking great with this particular release and certainly very glad to have it here for my one to 400 scale collection. So really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Feel free to comment below if you have any particular models you'd like to see uh, reviewed. I have quite the uh, a portfolio. Uh, I know I've been doing mainly new arrivals as of late, but I would not mind getting back into the groove of doing some uh, some other ones that we either haven't reviewed or uh, needs a refresher. So uh, just let me know in the comments if you have any particular plan you'd like to see, and I would be happy to uh, take a look at it for you. But nevertheless, that'll do for today's video, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. My name is Dredger of Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe. Trust the process. Do what you love and love what you do. My name is Dredger of Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon as Red Dirt Aviation is signing off.